Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Well, yo, yo, yo. Hey, man, listen, man. Check it, man. I had to come back one more again, man. Just kind of tap in on this Lil Wayne um, situation. Lil Wayne is, uh, Lil Wayne hasn't said nothing, you know. Uh, but a lot of his fans are, are, are ticked off about it. And we, when I talked about this yesterday, it wasn't really a thing where anybody had responded. Uh, so today, you know, I've se I'm seeing it. It went crazy. We just got on it a little bit early. So I'm going to just read a couple of things that uh, came in. Nicki Minaj spoke out. She said denying. And I believe this is in reference to I mean, she's shooting shots. Jay-Z said denying young black man what he really rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego. Your hatred for Birdman, Drake, and Nikki got you pushing Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne the GOAT. Nola, what's good? Eminem stood firm on having 50 Cent come out a white man. Sad. House teens. But it's good f them. No loyalty. Well, then we'll keep sunning you. DTLR, GAG, City. DC laugh my ass off. That's one thing Nikki had that to say. Nikki ain't tripping, man. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki ain't playing no game, but she ain't tripping by saying what she's saying. You know what I mean? Then Birdman comes out and he said, These niggas, Nikki Minaj and Drake and Latunji, YMCMB, I'm gonna make these niggas respect us on Miss Gladys, the GOAT. Then he says, Hey, for real. So these are tweets that just came out, man. And like I said, I believe a lot of these tweets came out because you got to think about it, man. They be, they seen the video, the one that I put out yesterday. And here, here it is a little bit more of it where, where I mean, this was a, you, this was a while back when he did this podcast, but he was pretty much telling them then that he would want to do the, the Super Bowl. And Lil Wayne put a lot of skin in the game. He is considered one of the goats, definitely in the South. But here's what he had to say. What you do to some boy? <laughs> Done. I, well, I gotta ask. You got. I'm just. It's a question, Wayne. I know. I don't know the answer, but I gotta ask you. Of course, the Super Bowl is in New Orleans. Um, I think it's in 2025 or something. Like, and he's I'm doing not, it. I'm not sure. Not. I'm not, Wayne, <laughs> not sure. come on, man. Say I'm it, Wayne. Sure you gotta no, say I, it, no, Wayne. I don't. They know. I, I can. I will not lie to you. I am not. Have not got a call. Hey, Jay. <laughs> wow. So he hadn't got a call back then. He was just saying he he was interested in doing it, man. And and you you gotta understand, man. When you everything you've done, everything you can possibly do in this game, you want to take it there and do something that had never been done before. He I don't. He had never been uh, performed in the Super Bowl. So I think that's one of the real reasons why he wanted to perform in the Super Bowl. Um, the one thing you gotta understand, man. And like I said, Jay Z he had something as well that he had to say, and I'm on, you know, I'm just going to put it up on the screen. Um, Jay-Z, he was pretty much, uh, um, he had, uh, and, and, and Hills was a little bit different. You know, he wasn't really, it wasn't nothing really that was bad or anything. He just was pretty much saying what he say when it come down to uh, just his whole situation. His, his, why he said, Jay-Z on Kendrick Lamar, this was on Rap TV, he said, uh, Kendrick Lamar headlining the 2025 Super Bowl halftime show. Kendrick is truly a once in a generation artist and performer. His deep love for hip hop and culture informs his artistic vision. He has an unparalleled ability to define and influence culture globally. Kendrick uh, works uh, transcends music and his impact will be felt for years to come. And I agree with the, all that. I agree with everything that Jay-Z just said, but I don't see it as being a, this is something that's between, it goes between him and what he done in other cities when he came to him. So, and I don't, like I said, Kendrick dope. Nobody can contest the fact that this year he killed the game and he's killed it before, but he even respects Lil Wayne as well. And they got a dope relationship. So I, I can't wait to see how this play out, but I'm going to bring in my guy, OG Pyru, man. He always give me his uh, honest opinion on what he feels about the situation. What's going on, OG? What's up with it? You back again with that complaint, all oh, man. man. I'm gonna definitely complain every time about 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 the fact of. Well, let me let me let me first say this. Okay. The 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 the, the farmhouse got a gang of goats. It's a gang of goats. Okay. But, it ain't but one king at a time. You dig what I'm saying? And the same thing that that, that JG just said. He tried. 
Kendrick transitions. I, 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 Lil Wayne is a hell of an artist in one little cubby hole. He had his turn and it was missed. And I understand what missed opportunity is missed opportunity, E. Now, now you sound you sound quite right out ridiculous when it comes down to the music and the catalog that uh, Kendrick is nowhere sold the amount of records that Lil Wayne have sold. Crazy as hell. No, he haven't. He'll tell you that. He won't tell me. That. Yes, he will. He hadn't. He Lil Wayne been Lil Wayne's run was different than than Kendrick's. Kendrick is definitely dope in his time right now, but Kendrick has not done near the things that Lil Wayne has accomplished. Has not done near. Uh, near, he has not done near. This is not a Kendrick and Lil, 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 and Lil Wayne debate. Man, bro, it's nothing Lil Wayne doing in his job. Lil Wayne's career has out. He he started earlier than Kendrick. He has he been doing this ever since he was a kid, and, and he had and his and his fame outlasted the fact of Kendrick still got to grow into the point of what Lil Wayne has done. He didn't out. He didn't out. He didn't out success Lil. Wayne. No, heck no, man. Lil Wayne considered. Look, look. Let, let me say this. Let me say this. This is the reason I feel that Jay Z. See, first of all, it become a thing with Jay-Z not wanting the guys that's pretty much down in the South, like a Lil Wayne, to out. Because Lil Wayne and him, they actually went against each other early on in their career because Lil Wayne pretty much was saying that he was the GOAT. And everybody was contesting to it, you know, saying, yeah, yeah, Lil Wayne is, 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 you know, possibly one of the greatest to do it. Now, his legacy for him to, if he goes on the Super Bowl and start performing, his legacy and his legend his legendary status become prevalent that he is who he, who, who they say he is. And so at the end of the day, I think for, I think for a must, Jay-Z is not wanting to see Lil Wayne perform nowhere. He ain't trying to hear that. Uh, uh, you're taking it too far. I don't think it even. I guarantee it is, it, it is something. He, why else would he do it? Why else would he not let him perform? Because uh, uh, Nick Rose is the only ones that live with what's happened. What happened in the past? It's what's happening uh, right now. Kendrick is the greatest thing. He in transit gang movements from the East Coast to the West Coast to the Philippines. He's changing idealistics on gang culture with just they not like us. It's some things that transcend more than the little cubby. Hole. No, no, no. They no cubby hole philanthropists. When you look at Lil Wayne and what he's done, people wasn't even yeah. doing in music. The mu his whole style of music changed. The game of hip hop. His whole style, the way that he carried himself, the things that he did in hip hop transcended. And, and listen, and it opened the doors to make pretty much people like Kendrick Lamar have different things. It's, it's, it's his rhyme scheme. It's the way that he carried. It's his rhyme scheme. It's the way he carries himself. It's the things he's done. What, what, what can he? What, if, if he was that outstanding and that out, that that dynamic. Even in hip hop, he had to claim blood to keep being successful. That was a trend. He actually helped. He helped. Listen, he helped putting a put a magnifying glass on gangs and stuff with the way that he was moving, bringing people together in that way. For real, his music and the way that he dealt with game and all that that helped their careers as well. No, he anointed to be in a pyro to be relevant. He came to California. He was going to be relevant anyway in the South, man. We didn't need him to be a gang member to understand his rhyme scheme. I'm talking about globally. Well, well look, let, let's say this. Kendrick is going to host the Super Bowl, whether you like it or not. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. <laughs> And all of y'all. I can't. Hey, I can't say nothing to that OG. You, you got you, you got me on that because you, you right. <laughs> they gonna buy a ticket. They gonna they gonna pay cable. They gonna buy a hot dog and a beer. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. I, I, I'm putting in a phone call to Birdman and Master P, and I guarantee you, if I can get a no limit cash uh, money boycott to where they perform at halftime. Hey, hold on, listen. I want them to perform at halftime. Down there in New Orleans, while the Super Bowl going on, and I guarantee you that city gonna erupt. I guarantee you it'll erupt. I guarantee. If you put Lil Wayne and no Cash Money and and put No Limit together downtown, the same time that Super Bowl is going on, we'll shut down that Super Bowl. Let's let's see. You know the only person that ever came against a a a, a sports event 
1997 on the World Series, Minister Farrakhan was in it at, was in Atlanta. Okay. And it was the first time any event that sold more than the, the World Series. Come on now. I like and that. I guarantee you, if you get Lil Wayne, his buddies. And, no, no, say it. Cash, money, and no limit together. We'll, 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 they will cause a damper on that Super Bowl if they come together. They won't. They, I know they will. Well, I, I bet a dollar the dog shit that they do. I guarantee you they'll do it. I bet, you, you can guarantee it, but I bet you uh, Birdman ain't going to do it. If he do it, you're going to know it because it's gonna, it gonna, it, it'll rip a fit. If they come together, it'll rip. It'll, 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 matter of fact, I'm going. It, uh, that's the only way I pull up. If they come together like that, I pull up. Anyway. <laughs> Check it. Because <just> <laughs> Kendrick down there saying they not like us, huh? You'll be telling. Hey, hey, uh. Oh, 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 gee, let's go down there and check it out. <laughs> be in New Orleans, man. Let's go check it out. You ain't lying. I might go. Say, man, thank you so much, man. <laughs> I appreciate you, OG, man. Hey, man, y'all get in the comments. Me and OG, Pyro, we can't, I told them all, we can't agree on this. I say, now y'all let me know, if Cash Money and No Limit come together at halftime, would this pretty much put a ripple effect on what's going on at the Super Bowl? Let me know, guys. Get in the comments. Am I crazy for saying that? Hold on. I say, get in the comments and let me know if I make sense when I say that. I, I, I know already it has never been done before, and I know it will cause issues. Let me know. Get in the comments. Do you agree with me or do you think like OG Pyru, like it ain't going to do nothing? Let us know. Boss Talk 101. What the bosses talk. Boss Talk 101 review. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.